If you're anything like me and you're already like looking around saying to yourself, is it already back to school time? It is. We're heading into Target today. Grab some coffee and let's go shopping. I am in love with this season. I love back to school shopping. I've always loved it since I was little and especially since I'm a homeschooling mom. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. Today we are heading into Target. This is for June 2024. This is when all of the fall exciting back to school shopping comes out. So I am in love with everything that they put out. It's really hard for me not to grab everything. I have two little guys. I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom, but I absolutely adore to shop. So a lot of times during this season and during the holiday seasons, I will upload a ton of shop with me videos. So stick around and let's see what so we find. As soon as I stepped into the Target dollar spot or the Bullseye Playground, I'm not even sure if it's the dollar spot anymore. There were a ton of workbooks. So there was a growth mindset book, reading and writing. And you see these every year. They come out with different brands. I feel like I'm seeing a lot more Scholastic this year and last year which i absolutely adore i love this brand you can never go wrong so they had the multiple time use ones that were dry erase markers and then there were also ones where it's like my first learning my first writing my first coloring math and so on and so forth those were ones you would tear the pages out and use one time these flashcards I have never seen. They were a dollar. I picked up every single one. I have a three and five year old. So we are starting pre-K all over again this year. And I'm super excited. It's one of my favorite things to teach. I am all about flashcards and just kind of hands-on learning. So if you have a little one, no matter what age, I feel like flashcards are amazing. And honestly, it's just a really fun way to incorporate different learning styles. It's a really good way to kind of find your child's learning style. I've seen these snackle boxes everywhere. They had these ones and then I'll show another version. I think it's a clear version. I've seen these all over social media. They look really fun, but they are also honestly just a really great way to organize small things. If you have a child that loves to carry erasers and all of those tiny little doodads that come with back to school or organizing in your craft room and glow in the dark stickers and i thought those were really fun that was of the solar system and then these sense and grow flashcards i don't remember the price i think they were three or five dollars a piece super tactile great for a younger one they who seek sensory it's a really great way to engage your child while you are teaching them things if they're not just looking at a word and saying the picture the sense and grow these are like little mini sensory bins i absolutely love this idea i didn't pick any up this trip because we have a uh, quite a bit of kinetic sand but they are amazing if you're looking for something to keep in the car if you're on the go if you're going on a road trip or you need something to pull out like at the doctor's office you can put them in one of those really cool plastic containers and keep it in the car keep it in the house if you don't want a huge mess and then I've seen these as well my store actually had everything in stock which was amazing again we homeschool so anytime I see something like this definitely pick it up I tend to go to Dollar Tree for these items but these were extremely well made and they seem like they'll stand the test of time so they had the beakers they had the test tubes the magnifying glass and then there is always some version of a math manipulative these are amazing these are great building blocks great for math you can use these literally for anything at any age of course with supervision never pass on their wood puzzles we've had ours for quite a few years i have never seen the weather station i thought this was absolutely adorable we have had ours for quite a few years and they last for so long they do typically come out with a clock version but i want to say that that i always see that i don't know why i always see the clock at sort of like the end of the rotation of back to school they had those really cute light up actors. There was an astronaut, a rocket, and then those protective sleeves. Those are amazing if you're working with little ones for if you want a multiple use out of like a workbook page. Say you get the workbooks from the dollar section, put it in a protective sleeve, use a dry erase marker. It's amazing. There's the other snack box. I think this one is a little bit bigger. It was $3, had more compartments. And if I'm not mistaken, you can actually move the little dividers make them bigger or smaller. These are a steal for $3. You get a set of two of these clear jars. They're not acrylic. I believe they are plastic, but they are really well made. Definitely great if you are organizing in your kitchen, in a coffee bar, if you're organizing in your craft room. And then there were these craft trays. I thought the pencil was super cute. If I was still in school, I would totally carry this pencil storage. And then they had these really nice um, rotating supplies for markers, crayons, pencils, you name it. These wood clips would be great if you were doing like a 
um, DIY. I've seen these everywhere. There's, there was only two of these for preschool, so I didn't grab any of those. Um, but I do believe they have K through fifth grade. You kind of have to hunt through your store. <laughs> But the paper or the wood clips, I can't think of it. You guys, clothespins. The clothespins would be great. Tie them a string on the wall and then do the whole alphabet A through Z. And then you could have your child display the art or you could do a letter of the day. Options are endless. This would be super fun. Classroom sticker book and then the classroom certificates. These are such a great tool if you are a teacher or if you're a homeschool mom or if there's some way you can use those in your home. Definitely a steal for the price for how many you get. Moving out of the dollar section or the Target Bullseye Playground, I always call it the dollar section. Um, my store actually didn't have everything out for back to school. I believe they'll put it out, I want to say towards after 4th of July. I walked by the craft section and noticed that there was quite a bit marked down and I was like, yes, we're out of markers anyways. I do a really big stock up at the end of the year. Anytime this comes up for back to school, I'll buy all of our markers, crayons, all of those fun things. And it typically will last us for about a year, year and a half. So they happen to mark down quite a bit and I was super excited. So definitely keep your eyes open. A lot of times they'll start marking things down for the regular sale season for like back to school glues on sale markers pens pencils don't be afraid to kind of scour and look throughout the regular sections where they would normally be before they move them all into either the back of the store or the middle of the store i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you're seeing in your stores i cannot wait to find all of the back to school supplies i'm waiting for the paper and planners to go on sale don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys in the next video thanks for hanging out today